Good morning. Uh, I'm uh, Dr. Najib Ahmed Rumi. My title is Rumi. Basically, I'm a medical doctor and uh, mind and well-being therapist. You might have some uh, knowledge about uh, Cognitions, thoughts therapies, talking therapies. Now, nowadays, it's very common all over the world. And it is really a life saving, uh, you know, tools and techniques which we use in our therapy, talking therapies. So, nowadays, as all over the world, there are uh health issues and uh, health is a uh, four dimensional uh, property and the most important dimension of health uh, as per my perspective is our mental health but i here i don't want to use mental health because it seems to be as a stigma to mental health so i would like to uh, replace mental health as mind health mind health is very because our mind is a thought processing machine what we put into it it is going to process accordingly if positive stuff positive ingredient we add up into our mind, it will process accordingly. So daily li in daily life, we may have lots of uh, problems, issues, stress, depression, and uh, uh, nationally as well as internationally. Because nowadays, we are living in a global town it's like a global town center we are being connected with each other with the circumstances atmosphere whatsoever anything is there and we are well aware of all of the all of those problems so today my talk is about uh, stress as i have already mentioned that what is stress because there are two types of stress it is uh, for uh, ordinary uh, listener and viewer in our daily life when we get up early in the morning positive stress is that our mind is going to let us know that uh, we are going for work or if we are students we are are going to study going to school or college or universities if we are uh, uh, doing some jobs then obviously we need to go to a job this is a uh, positive stress which is going to trigger positively that you are going to do something in your capacity but unfortunately, negative stress is there when we are overwhelmed, when we are over conscious, when we have fear and phobias, then it could lead to anxiety, negative stress. When we are in a fearful states of mind, then uh, there are few negative chemicals which is released in our brain. Uh, one of the most common uh, chemical is cortisol. When we are very stressed, we are unable to sleep, we are unable to concentrate on our work, and lots of uh, junk thoughts are coming into our mind. 
and then we are uh, really we won't be in a position to cope with the situation a stressful situation because it's not one of the great philosopher he said uh, that uh, people are not scared of the things people are not scared of the things but the view they take of them what is your point of view about the situation if you are overwhelmed if you are over conscious if you are worried that something is going to happen it's bad and you are not in a position to cope with the situation then of course what would be the end result your brain start uh, secreting your brain start uh, you know producing a negative chemicals which obviously uh, with our blood stream with our blood circulation it circulated in from our head to toe all over the body and it's really very tiring and killing uh which is going to damage our cells our body our you know each and uh, even our immune system when you are stressed early in the morning and you just look at the mirror you look tired you look uh, you know um, it's uh, unplayable for you to just have a view but when you, uh, you you sleep well and early in the morning you wake up and then you see your face it's look fresh and that uh, your friends your sincere friends close friends they will appreciate you you're looking very fresh so this is uh, uh, the basic uh, strategy which is life saving strategy how you are going to cope with the stress if stress is there and uh, then uh, because if you go to some uh, psychologist psychiatrist you are trying to cope with the situations if you are unable to uh, manage your stress then uh, there are few exercise mindfulness exercise you need to share your thoughts with your nearer and dear don't be scared because when you are scared it is going to trigger your problems more and more and then you won't be in a position to uh control your stress control your brain so you have to do some a uh, mindfulness exercise like yoga like if you are a religious person then then accordingly according to your religions you can you can concentrate if you are not non religious and uh, not a practicing uh, religion religious persons then you can go for uh meditation because one of my uh verses and saying is that meditation mindfulness peace of mind can be medication the latest research shows that meditation is like a medication it's like a medicine if done with dedication if you are determined if you are dedicated that you can uh, bring a drastic change in into your mind because as uh, i have mentioned if you uh, go through the uh, description of uh, my profile then you will come to know that uh, the only person that can heal or harm you is you not anyone else not your parents not your therapist not your doctors not your mentor only if you are kind self compassion self compassionate self love you have to love and respect yourself in a pro proper way because when you go to the doctor uh, although uh, psychologists are there your mentors are there in the professional if you go to the psychiatrist it, uh, god forbid and if you have more problem and it's getting worse day by day then the psychiatrist they are the doctors who are going to give you drugs antidepressant anti sleep uh, sleep drug drugs anxiolytic anxiety uh, control drugs but it won't uh, help you but 
if you have some real medical conditions, of course, then uh, doctors, your qualified doctors, they are uh, competent to prescribe your drugs. But prevention is the best treatment. How you can prevent? You can control uh, yourself through meditations, through a positive mind, because uh, human mind is like a garden, as I mentioned before. And our thoughts are like seeds, positive thoughts, positive seeds, negative thoughts. You can say it's negative seeds. Or what are the positive thoughts about you are helping yourself? If you are in a better position to help yourself, then at the end of the day, you can help others. If you are not in a position to help yourself, then how come you can help others? It's impossible. So try to be self-compassionate, self-love and respect yourself with your weaknesses and strength. I know what are my weaknesses. I know what are my strengths. So we have to accept both things, my strength and my weaknesses. And then we can manage accordingly. What are my weaknesses? Why I am disturbed? This might be due to uh, economy, it might be due to relationship problems, it might be due to you know, your health conditions. But when you are determined, because self-help doctor is you, you, yourself, then you can get guidance. But when you are all alone, you are thinking and junk thoughts are inside of your mind and you feel that no one can help you, then no one will come to help you out. Because doctors Unless around, our father of uh, first doctor's father of medicines, who was um, a name you might have, uh, majority of the people they might have uh, uh, some knowledge about uh, uh, the doctor Hippocrates, because when medical doctor we complete our study and we take oath of uh, Hippocratic oath. What he said, he once he said mentioned that uh, when you treat or heal someone first question you have to ask whether they wanted to give up those things which are going to trigger their problems which are associated and directly linked to their problems then if the services user they agreed to give up those things which are going to uh, trouble uh, for them then you can help them you can treat them so this is all about uh, uh, today my talk and uh, we have uh, uh, ongoing uh, services free for a less well off uh, community global communities and you can contact me it's in my descriptions and then you can share you can uh, spread this message all over the world because I'm a licensed, qualified, uh, positive health doctors talking about uh, your problems and through talking therapies, through uh, mindfulness meditations, through uh, pattern of thoughts. What is pattern of thoughts into your mind? Because as I mentioned, it's a thought processing machine, what we put into it, then accordingly your brain works. So then you can seek help. Uh, my direct number is there. You can uh, send me a message. Then whenever I'm free, I would reply. I would try to because workload is uh, high. So sometime I'm busy. So but at least you can email me or you can uh, contact uh, my number, WhatsApp number. It's for less well off people who are unable to afford the treatment because all over the world in in the uk and london it's very expensive uh we charge 40 50 pounds per hour uh, for talking therapies because it's not a free but for those who are less well off who are uh, non-affording so i can uh, give them free counseling sessions over the phone and then hopefully because uh my main and uh, mission is to help the people who are in great need 
because when you are uh, self compassionate you have to love and respect yourself because when your mind is working according to uh, the when you have a problems and if you are going to pile up more problem it means your brain and your mind is uh, problem oriented that you are going to pile up your problems that you don't have any problem you don't have any way out of that problem then it could leads to self harming you are eating more or eating less sleeping less or sleeping more you are on uh, sleeping pills you are antidepressants drugs you are uh, alcoholic you are taking drugs you are taking you know even sexual addictions even bad habits you feel you start doing something uh, inappropriate you are harming yourself you are harming others so when when you when you think that uh, there is no way out there is no uh, one to help you out from this problem then you are problem oriented mind what is problem oriented mind is that your problem is not working with you your prop your brain is working against you that there is no solution so every problems on this earth is directly linked to the solution so use your positive mind sit down and talk to yourself and relax yourself and change the pace and place and then you need any help then your mind and brain which is solution oriented what is the solution of that problem because the only person who can help you is yourself then you can find out the real solution of your problem and then obviously when you are in a, in a, in a positive mind that okay i need some someone help from someone from the therapist like myself uh, so i can okay, i'm ready to help you out in terms of because my specialty in public health and like because i did my uh, graduation in medicines from nishtar uh, medical university from multan pakistan then i did my uh, post graduation in public health and lifestyle management and behavioral sciences in in the uk so i'm based in in london uk so globally i just travel i uh, i'm also public health and mind well being specialist uh, visiting specialist you can seek help if you are less well off if you are unable to uh, a fault and these talking therapy then i can guide and help you out take well care of yourself and uh, then uh, i will uh, upload uh, my services and then you can have have a look on it take care and uh, have a lovely day bye bye thank you